Our adventure unfurls on the 13th of August, as we bid adieu to the familiarity of Punawale and embrace the allure of the open road. A montage of scenic vistas unfolds as we cruise through Lanavala, a haven of verdant hills, and venture further on the bombay Kanyakumari Road. The anticipation of hidden gems awaits, and the air resonates with excitement as we inch closer to our first destination. Our route meandered through the captivating landscapes of Lanavala, Dapoli, and the famed bombay Kanyakumari Road. As we embarked on this road trip, the anticipation of discovering hidden gems stirred our souls. The narrative takes an intriguing twist as we embark on a boat that carries not just passengers, but also automobiles, across the Serene Creek. This intersection of modernity and tradition epitomizes the essence of our journey, a harmonious blend of past and present. As the sun began to cast its warm, golden embrace over the landscape, we found ourselves at the cusp of a unique adventure, one that embodied the fusion of eras, the embrace of progress, and the reverence for tradition. The next chapter of our journey took us to a place where the boundaries between past and present blurred, as we embarked on a boat that transported not only people but also vehicles across the tranquil creek. The boat, a sturdy vessel crafted by skilled hands, floated upon the rippling waters like a bridge between worlds. It bore the weight of cars and trucks, a tangible symbol of modernity, while maintaining an age-old connection to the waters that had been navigated by countless generations before us. The boatman, a guardian of this temporal passage, guided us through the process with the ease of someone who knew the ebb and flow of the tides like the rhythm of his own heart. The setting sun welcomes us to Dabhal, a charming village steeped in Konkani heritage. As we step into an authentic Konkani-style home, built from the very earth that surrounds it, we're transported to an era where tradition thrived. The marriage of clay and wood tells tales of generations past, and the creek adjacent to the dwelling offers tranquility that soothes the soul. Outside the home, a tranquil creek flowed gently, its waters a mirror to the sky above. The creek held a sacred space in the lives of the villagers, a source of sustenance and connection that stretched back through generations. The gentle lapping of water against the bank seemed to carry with it the tales of fishermen who had cast their nets in pursuit of livelihood, and of families who had gathered by the creek to share stories and laughter.
As the sun began its gradual descent, a warm and golden aura embraced the charming village of Dabhol. Nestled along the western coast of Maharashtra, this quaint hamlet held within its folds a treasure trove of history, culture, and authenticity waiting to be discovered. With every passing minute, the village seemed to come alive, casting its spell upon anyone fortunate enough to step foot upon its sacred soil. Amid the gentle embrace of Gwagar's golden sands and the rhythmic cadence of the azure waves, we found ourselves basking in a sacred moment of togetherness, one that transcended time, bridged generations, and kindled a bond between family and loyal companions that would forever be etched in our souls, as we stepped onto the beach, a feeling of reverence swept over us. The vast expanse of the shoreline seemed to stretch endlessly, a canvas painted with the hues of the sea and sky. But it was not just the beauty of nature that captured our hearts, it was the presence of our cherished family dogs, their tails wagging in joyful anticipation, that transformed this scene into a tapestry of pure emotion. 
With each playful step, our four-legged companions breathed life into the landscape, infusing it with their boundless energy and uninhibited joy. Their paws danced upon the sands, leaving behind imprints that marked not just their physical presence, but the indelible mark they'd leave on our memories. They chased after seagulls, their laughter-like barks harmonizing with the symphony of the sea, creating a harmonious melody that echoed in the chambers of our hearts, the unspoken language between us and our dogs was a testament to the power of connection, a connection that transcends words and traverses the realms of emotions. As we gazed into their eyes, we saw mirrored reflections of our own elation. Our shared exhilaration in the face of nature's grandeur. The laughter that bubbled from deep within us was mirrored in their exuberant leaps, their tails creating arcs of happiness against the backdrop of the endless sea, as the sun cast its soft, golden glow upon the beach, time seemed to slow down. We watched as our dogs explored the shoreline, their curiosity an infectious reminder of the wonder that exists in even the simplest moments. Their uninhibited freedom became a lesson in living in the present, a lesson in finding delight in the feel of sand beneath their paws. And as the day transitioned to twilight, and the hues of the sky painted a breathtaking canvas of colors, we found ourselves cradled in a moment of perfect serenity. With our family dogs by our side, we witnessed the sun's final bow as it dipped below the horizon, leaving behind streaks of orange, pink, and gold, a spectacle that seemed to encapsulate the very essence of our time at Wagger Beach, emotion swelled within us, gratitude for this shared experience, awe for the beauty of nature and a profound sense of interconnectedness. Our family dogs, faithful and true, had woven themselves into the very fabric of our journey, leaving their paw prints not just on the sands but also in the chambers of our hearts. As the day drew to a close, we knew that this chapter of our journey was not just about a place, it was about the moments.
Imagine standing on the beach, the gentle sound of waves creating a soothing rhythm in the background. As the sun sets, its golden rays paint the sky in shades of red and orange, creating a breathtaking scene that fills you with a sense of wonder and peace. Witnessing the sunset at Hidavi Beach was an emotional experience. The vibrant hues of the sky, the soothing sound of the waves, and the tranquility of the surroundings combined to create a moment of profound serenity and connection with nature. Sunsets on the beach are truly magical. As the sun dips below the horizon, the sky comes alive with a mesmerizing blend of warm colors, casting a serene and captivating atmosphere over the tranquil waves and sandy shores. As the time came to bid a fond farewell to the enchanting shores of Guagar, our hearts were heavy with the weight of cherished memories, yet our spirits were lifted by the wealth of experiences that we had amassed. With the sun setting on our time at Guagar, we embarked on the journey back, retracing our path through the familiar towns of Chaplun, Mahad, and Bor, the road that stretched before us was more than just a thoroughfare, it was a passage of reflection, a green corridor that seemed to echo the vibrant landscapes that had cradled us on this transformative voyage. The countryside unfolded in shades of green, a lush panorama that whispered of the vitality of life itself. Each tree, each blade of grass, stood as a silent sentinel, bearing witness to our journey and the stories we had collected along the way, as the wheels of our vehicle rolled over the asphalt, we couldn't help but be moved by the synchrony of our surroundings and our emotions. The road, like a gentle guide, led us through the tapestry of our memories, reminding us of the vistas we had witnessed, the people we had met, and the connections we had forged. It was a path that resonated with the very essence of our expedition, a journey of discovery, growth, and transformation. Chaplun, Mahad, and Bor were not just names on a map, they were waypoints in the symphony of our travels. The towns, with their unique character and charm, provided a backdrop to our inner reflections. The journey back was more than a physical return, it was a meditative passage, an opportunity to absorb the lessons and experiences that we had accumulated during our time away, the road, like an old friend, unfurled itself before us with each passing kilometer whispering tales of the adventures we had shared, the laughter that had echoed in our ears, and the beauty that had touched our souls. It was a road that beckoned us not just toward our point of origin, but toward the next chapter of our journey, an ode to the cyclical nature of exploration. In this cyclical rhythm, every ending was a prelude to a new beginning. Our return from Guagar was not an ending but a transition, 
a seamless continuation of the ever-evolving narrative of our lives. Each chapter, no matter how poignant or fleeting, was a stepping stone to the next, a reminder that growth and discovery were constants on this journey, as the landscapes rolled by, we found ourselves immersed in the embrace of this eternal cycle. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting its warm glow upon the world, and we knew that even as one chapter concluded, the pages of our lives were ready to be turned anew. The road through Chaplun, Mahat, and Bor was a final reminder that the journey was never truly over. It was an ongoing dance, a rhythm that pulsed within us, a reflection of the ever-turning wheel of life. This journey, painted with hues of authenticity and nostalgia, is not a mere memory but a part of who we are, an integral thread woven into the fabric of our souls.